Hey folks, welcome to this quick video on how to trim an MP4 file without the use of any re-encoding or re-rendering software such as Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere Pro. So, just quickly, the reason why you would use a program like this to, to trim down a video is it's very quick, very powerful, you can um, keep the exact same quality that you put in um, and put that into the video, the output of the video when you trim it so you get to cut down on time and keep um, quality. I mean, the, the name of the program here is Lossless Cut. It's in its name. It will cut an MP4 file and it won't have any of the um, quality lost. So I've got a, a clip here. It's a 0.98 gigabyte. It's an MP4 file. Um, I'm going to boot up Lossless Cut. In fact, actually, I've already got one open. That's fine. Um, when you download it, you'll probably get this with all these files in. You just need to worry about lossless cut. And then once it's open, it's, you can either file open there or you can just drop, uh, drag and drop a video in. So that's what I'll do. And once it's loaded in, you can do your usual things um, like you would on a normal uh, video player. So you can skip along in the timeline. You can play it. Okay, dead easy stuff. So let's just say, for example, I would like to trim... Um, most of the first part, bit off, let's say, I want to do from here, I want to take it from here towards somewhere towards the end. Whatever reason you may have to trim it, that's why you're doing it. So, I've set my cursor here on the timeline, and I'm just going to choose this arrow here to set the cut start, and then I'm just going to choose somewhere later on. You can, you can play it and you can tweak it a couple of seconds uh, to, to be perfectly where you want it. But I'm just going to choose there. I'm going to choose the end cut. So you can see I've got these uh, grayed out areas that it's going to completely remove from the video. And all it's going to keep is the time in between that I've set. So just before you go ahead and, and do the cut, you need to make sure that your output path is somewhere where you want the video to end up. In my case, it's going to end up in this folder here where the original video is. So that's fine. And then there's no other buttons you need to worry about over here. Leave them all as they are and simply hit the pair of scissors to export your selection. So one thing you'll notice is before I've even finished describing, it's extremely quick. Okay, to do that in Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere or any other kind of video editing software, it would take a lot longer. Now obviously it depends on what uh, computer you you have if you've got a really powerful one you've got a very good CPU that can handle video editing then it will be quicker however nothing is going to be as quick as that so after I've done it I mean obviously I can exit the the program that's fine you can see here uh, the original one like I said before 0.98 gigabytes if we just bring up the details uh, for this you can see um, we've got uh, it's kept the resolution the same Sorry, this is original, so the resolution 1920 by 1080 and just shy of 50,000 um, kilobytes per second. So if I bring up the details now for the re well, the, the trimmed version, so it's not re-encoded. I'm just going to put these side by side so you can see. Um, we've trimmed out two minutes. It's still kept the exact same um, frame width and height. Uh, the data rate has gone up a little bit, which is perfectly fine, but it has not lost any of the quality. It hasn't reduced the quality by anything. Um, so that's as it was in that video, just shortened down with uh, whatever part of the video I wanted to remove. So thanks for watching, I hope this helps. I know it's it saved me a ton of time having to um, edit clips down or, or, or trim off parts of the video. Um, so I really do hope you find it useful as well.